Hello, friends and enemies, it's me, V. I have PCOS, that is why I have a beard. I don't know who, who needs to hear this, but if you want to have a, a spinny skirt, get the motherfucking spinny skirt. Now, let me Quentin Tarantino things back, back a bit. Okay, when I was younger, and I'm talking about 1990, no, actually 2000, 1990, it's like 1998, my mom got AOL, and I started going on the internet, and I learned how to troll at a young age. I didn't start really trolling until I was like 14, 15. Thankfully, people called me out on my shit. So I'm saying this to you, as someone who's going to turn 38 this year, some of you guys need an older person to say, hey, don't fucking be that asshole. Don't shit on someone's happiness. Someone wants to wear a, a spinny dress or a spinny skirt. Why the fuck are you then saying, you shouldn't do it? Why? I mean, when I, when I trolled, I trolled as being either stupid or really passionate about a thing. There was one instance where I was like to a woman who rightfully called out that the, that the band Tattoo was just, you know, based on a straight man and me being bi at the time. I was like, how dare you? Fuck you and your red hair. Red hair is great, but yours look horrible. I look back at that and I cringe. I fucking cringe. And I'm going to tell you guys now, a lot of you are, are saying, well, that's not cool. Blah, blah, blah. Again, as somebody who is 38, going to be 38 this year, let me tell you, I've seen too many things that were cool and then became uncool. Like whatever the fuck you like and stop paying attention to what someone else likes. Some of you are just so focused on, well, you can't do this. Let me tell you something. When you get to be about my age, you're going to start having regrets over the things that you did not do because it was considered not cool. It's better now to just do the shit that you fucking want to do and have fun. Because guess what? Life's too short. Not a lot of you are going to make it to my age. Not a lot of us will make it to age 70. It's a blessing getting older. It means that we've lived life. It means we've had experiences. But at the same time, some of you are just so focused on what other people are doing. You're not focused on yourselves and how to make sure that your life is the best life. How to make sure you're happy. And I need some of you to log the fuck off and go outside. I don't care if you have to have somebody help you go outside. I don't care if it means opening a window and just looking outside. But some of y'all need to do something because this whole need of policing what others do, guess what? I was policed kind of by older adults. When I was in my teens and 20s, older adults that I worked with would tell me, hey, you, why are you doing that? Why are you having your hair in pigtails? It's, you know, Or why are you doing this? Blah, blah, blah. Why don't you focus about your own life? Why don't you focus on the fact that you, you've been five years with a guy who has not claimed you, will not post anything about you on social media, but he'll post him and his, and his coworker, his, his, his work wife. Why don't you focus on the fact that your husband has joked about the fact that he hates your guts? How about focus about the fact that you're a single wife, you're a single mother while being married to somebody that does nothing all he adds is shitty draws. Focus on the fact that you, as a dude, don't, you don't know how to wash your own clothes, make meals, do anything that's productive as a human being. All you add is more stress to people that you live with. Let's talk about some of you boy moms. And the fact some of y'all peaked in high school and all you've done is put so much into your sons that you have no idea how to live by yourselves. And once your kids leave, you realize that you fucked your entire life. Let's talk about that. But we don't talk about that. Instead, you want to focus on another bitch who wants to go around and say, ooh, this skirt is spinny. You bitches make me fucking sick.